everyone, welcome to Let's Create Something Great. I'm Samantha. Today we're making the Monster Book of Monsters. How cool is this? I've been wanting to um, have something like this in my collection for a while and I didn't want to buy it so I decided to make it and it turned out so good. Look at that. So creepy and it's storage on the inside. Haha. -ha. I'm gonna show you how to make it. Okay so to get started for the basic frame of the book you'll need a piece of sturdy cardboard I'm making mine eight and a half by 11, so I traced a sheet of paper, and this will be the back. Then I traced it again and added three inches to that, and that will be the top cover as well as the spine. Cut these out with a utility knife or an X-Acto knife. On the larger piece, score along the line by cutting gently with an X-Acto knife, being careful not to cut all the way through, just enough to cut the top layer. This way the cardboard can bend in a clean edge. For the sides, cut two pieces that will fit the top and bottom, about eight inches by two and three quarter inches. Cut another piece for the length of the book, about 10 and a half inches by two and three quarters inches. Assemble the book by hot gluing the back to the front and spine. Smooth the glue using the edge of the glue gun tip as needed. Check to be sure the sides of the book fit flush and trim as necessary. Hot glue each piece in place so that they are inset by about a half an inch on all edges. Place glue along the inside and outside to ensure everything is nice and sturdy. Now take some of the furry material. I bought just a third of a yard from Joann's. Cut two pieces, one for the back and one for the front, ensuring that there is as much overhang as possible on each side, at least a couple inches if you can. Now this fabric will shed on the edges but it won't shed forever. Just pull the loose fur off and throw it away. Starting with the back, glue the fur to the cover and spine using hot glue. Glue a few inches at a time because the glue dries fairly quickly. Press it down as you go. Make sure the fur goes at least halfway down the spine as well and still drapes off the edges. On the front, draw a rectangle shape in the middle with a slight curved indent on the right side, the side facing the open part. Then start gluing the fur down, leaving the rectangle free of glue. Once the fur is all glued down, feel for the curved edge of glue and using some sharp fabric scissors, snip along that edge only, leaving a little pouch. Using a fiber mill, start stuffing the pouch. Then add some hot glue along the front edge and push down some of the fur to cover the filling, leaving some sticking up as you can see here. To make the eyes, I used four brown vase filler stones. Using a sharpie, I drew on some cat eye pupils. Then I glued the four eyes in place. Then just kind of brush the fur back down a little to cover up the eyes slightly. Then print out the words Monster Book of Monsters on a sturdy piece of cardstock or photo paper. I actually liked the semi-gloss look of the photo paper, so that's what I used. I will link to the printout below. Cut out the words and hot glue them in place. Use your handle of your scissors to press down on it as it's pretty hot um, just pushing on through the paper, so be careful. Now using some sharp fabric scissors, start cutting the edges to make them jagged. Have fun with this part. It doesn't have to be perfect. After this, I decided to add some brown paint to the inside edges and lid. If I could do this over again, I would have done this before applying the fabric, but oh well. To make the edges look like paper edges, I took a picture of the side of my Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix book and then photoshopped a printable that I will link down below. I printed that out, then I cut it into strips to fit the sides and glued them in place. To top it all off, I had to make some creepy teeth. So using some red and white polymer clay, I kneaded the two together to kind of get a pinkish mix, roll it out and form two half circles. Then using the pointy polymer clay tool, I poked about eight holes into the edges.
Then just roll out some little pieces of white polymer clay into pointy teeth and wedge those into the little holes. Mold the two teeth to the side of the book, then gently peel them off and bake according to package instructions. Once they're cooled, hot glue them in place, and that's it! You have a super awesome looking monster book of monsters straight from Harry Potter and perfect for your collection. Well everyone, that's it for this week. I hope I inspired you to create something great of your own. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this craft and if you think you're ambitious enough to try it. If you do, please send me a picture over on Twitter, at Samantha Camilos. Also, if you're new here, I invite you to subscribe. I make new videos every week and we just hit a thousand subscribers. Yay! And I'll have a whole video about that coming soon and maybe even a little something something to go with it. So definitely stay tuned for that. Well that kind of concludes October. I've done a lot of videos recently. It's been so much fun. I hope to see you guys on the next one. Once again, happy Halloween and I'll see you next time. Bye! Ah!